bitch and welcome back to another video another analysis of another sport a lot of people keep asking me to make this into a series and i think i actually might now you guys know me and you guys know that i am not a fan of competition i just don't really believe that it's healthy for a lot of people and i think it kind of destroys the bond and connection you have between you and your horse not in every case but certainly we've all met those people who are like only doing it for a ribbon or for money or exposure and they don't actually do it because they care about the animals but i have heard you guys in today's video we are going to be doing an analysis of mounted shooting i'm so excited for this one because i think this is actually the very first sport that i have done an analysis of that is actually incredibly unproblematic this might actually be the most unproblematic sport i think i've ever looked into but you guys before we get into this video i just have to say a huge huge, massive thank you to this video's sponsor, which is Wincent Pro. Wincent creates some of the most amazing gun safes on the market, which, oh my God, this could not have been a more perfect sponsor for this video. I've been using Wincent for quite a while now, and they sent me my brand new gun safe. As you guys know, I've been shooting guns my whole entire life. I have always had guns since I was a little kid, and gun safety is huge within my life and within my family. So always, always keep your guns in safes. It's so unbelievably important. Every single gun that I own is in a safe, and I just cannot stress the importance of not just safety for your family, but safety for your friends and other people. Wincent not only has a variety of biometric gun safes, smart gun safes, etc., available on their website, they have all different shapes and sizes, portable and non-portable that you can keep all over your home. My personal gun safe is absolutely amazing. It is completely worth it. You can DIY different structures with racks, for storing rifles, handguns, ammo, equipment, and tools. It can also be removable and placed in a trunk, garage, storage, cases, doors, wall, furniture, and home, etc. I'm telling you, Wincent is absolutely the number one place you should go to for your gun safes. They have done a phenomenal job of supporting me and my channel, and I really could not be happier with this product. I was actually looking to get a new gun safe, and of course, when I needed them most, they were there for me, so a massive Massive thank you to Wincent for sponsoring this video. You guys can click my link down below to go check them out. I really could not stress the importance of always keeping your guns in safes just for safety reasons. But speaking of guns, let's get into the video. I just want to point out that I do get a lot of people who say that, oh, you know, Raleigh hates on every single discipline. That's just not true. I point out the bad things within most disciplines, but there are plenty of disciplines that I actually don't think there's anything wrong with that I don't make videos about at all because I just don't really see them as being problematic and I just don't really see anything wrong with them. A lot of times I also don't talk about disciplines that I don't know anything about. However, I think it's gonna be really fun to do this new series where we can analyze all these different types of disciplines that might actually be good disciplines for you and your horses. Maybe if you're looking to get into some Something new. If you're unfamiliar with what cowboy mounted shooting is, it's essentially a fast, exciting, high speed sport that requires a lot of skill and steady hands. It's fairly new. It originated back, I think, in 1991, and it's part of the AQHA, one of their approved events. Cowboy Mounted Shooting is a timed event and uses a set of 10 balloons that are all attached to stands set in one or more of 50 approved patterns. All of these patterns include maneuvers such as turning round barrel, switching direction, going through a gate or a relatively narrow opening. Each pattern often includes a run 
rundown of a line of five balloons set on a straightaway. Each rider uses a 45 caliber single action revolver, each carrying five rounds of blank black powder. For those of you who are unfamiliar with guns, blank rounds basically just means that it's not live ammunition. So gun safety is actually of the utmost importance within a lot of these mounted shooting events, which I actually thought was really, really awesome. That was the one thing when people asked me to look into this sport that I was worried about because I was like, anytime you're using guns around horses, there's always a safety issue there. But it seems like safety is absolutely paramount within this sport, which is actually really good to see. There are a lot of safety regulations. We're, we're shooting blank ammunition. They're a, a cartridge that's, that's crimped on the end that has a, a cannon grade black powder. And that's, there's no projectile or anything in those, in those blanks. It's just the powder going out. And mind you, blank rounds are effective for around 10 to 15 feet. So riders have to be close enough to each balloon to be able to hit their target and accurately hit it because they need to have good aim. Each rider must cock the gun before each shot. After five shots, the rider must holster the first gun and unholster the second gun while on the same run. I was really pleasantly surprised to see all of the regulations for this sport laid out so eloquently. It really honestly put a smile on my face because I have never been happier to see a sport take such care into the safety of their riders and the safety of the horses involved. I can't tell you how many times I've reacted to sports that have just had terrible riders in them, but when you're doing mounted shooting, because each course is different, a lot of these riders are actually really decently skilled riders because the courses constantly change. Obviously your, your goal is to shoot fast, but also shoot, shoot clean. So sometimes fast isn't always good, sometimes slow works just as good because of of how people's horses are or how their talent level is. Not only do they have to have good horses and good seat, but they also need to be properly balanced in order to be able to accurately shoot targets. So honestly, I would have to say this sport requires not only an immense level of skill, but it also requires a decent knowledge of riding and horsemanship. And it's really nice to see something like this. Well, I saw the sport and it looked like it was a lot of fun and I thought I'd give it a try and it was more fun than grown people should have and I fell in love with it right away. Now, obviously you're going to have bad people in every sport, but I could honestly only find one or two videos where the riders were kind of questionable with their riding capabilities. Moreover, I'm not gonna be discussing the tack used by the riders, given that each individual rider has the option of using whatever tack they want. More than 50% of the riders I saw participating in this sport actively chose to not wear spurs and not use bits. A lot of riders in this sport use hackamores, they don't even usually use the reins at all, and I didn't really see a lot of kicking going on, and I didn't see a lot of riders that chose to use spurs. Now obviously you're going to get plenty of riders that do choose to use spurs or bits, but like I said, when a lot of riders are choosing to opt out of the abusive equipment, I'm not going to pick that apart because each individual rider has the option of riding ethically, an ethical tack. Again, I'm not saying that there's not bad people within the sport, but so far, the majority of people I've seen are actually incredibly responsible, and I'm really happy to see a sport that just takes so much care of the people and animals involved. In mounted shooting, you rarely ever see riders yanking on the horse's face like what you would in a lot of other Western events like barrel racing or roping, etc. And the reason I've noticed is because riders that yank on their horse's face actually throw the horse out of a, you know, nice stride. They take the horse out of a rhythm that is otherwise needed to keep a steady ride going. So that way you can shoot all of the balloons in a timely manner. I've noticed that it's actually really common to see riders within this sport that just kind of let their horse go at a natural rhythm and then they just shoot off the side as they pass by balloons and those are often the riders that have the best times. The sport literally 
rewards people who are good writers in a way, which I actually think is so nice to see because you don't really see many people at the top levels of this sport that are bad writers. The one thing that I was super concerned about when looking into mounted shooting was actually how the gunshot noises affected equine auditory systems. Anybody who's been around guns knows that shooting guns is super loud and you can really damage your ears and your hearing if you don't use ear protective gear. So that was obviously one of the first things that came to mind when I was looking into mounted shooting because, okay, you know, every rider within this sport is allowed to use whatever kind of tack they want, meaning they can use hackamores or bits and they don't have to use spurs or they can. But there is an animal welfare aspect surrounding surrounding the noise that could possibly damage the horse's ears and their auditory systems, their ability to hear. However, as the popularity has grown with cowboy mounted shooting, there have actually been veterinary studies conducted on this and the damages done to horse auditory systems by guns and uh, gunshot noises. And essentially the conclusions of this study were pretty obvious that yes, <laughs> loud noises do damage horse auditory systems. However, one thing that I saw was that it's actually mandatory at pretty much all, if not most, to use ear protective gear for horses, like earplugs. The American Quarter Horse is probably 97, 98, 99% of the horses that are used in this sport, just for a simple fact, the speed, the agility, the, the explosiveness coming around a corner, come around a barrel. They actually have earplugs in the horse's ears and most of the time their ears as well. Now, this might not be the case at every cowboy mounted competition, but from what I have seen, it's highly recommended at every single one of them, if not mandatory. So all I would say to that is they should definitely make it mandatory at every single competition if it's not. But what it seems like is every single rider who participates within this sport understands that loud noises from their guns actually do affect their horse's hearing. And therefore, I have yet to find a mounted shooter that doesn't use ear protective gear for their horses. I mean, seriously, I actually tried to find one and I couldn't. One of the most commonly asked questions I'm asked is, do my horses wear earplugs? And the answer is yes. Here I have two different styles. One is a foam earplug that's similar to what we would wear as shooters. It's a little more dense and noise deafening. This one is a puffball style, kind of a pom-pom, and it's a little bit squishier, and it's great for horses that aren't really sure if they want something in their ear or not. I mean, this woman is a champion of this sport and has done multiple interviews and has done multiple articles on the importance of using earplugs within the sport. To have a high profile person within a sport promoting animal safety is just one of the most refreshing things I've ever seen in my life. Like I'm honestly so happy that this woman exists because she is putting such a positive light on this sport and showing that yes, there can be sports that are ethical. So essentially, if you want to do a fun, interesting, non-abusive equine sport, they definitely do exist. And I would honestly say in my conclusion that cowboy mounted shooting is definitely one of the most ethical equine sports I have come to find. Honestly, this sounds like so much fun. I genuinely thought of trying this because when I was doing research for this video, I was actually shocked that I don't think I have a single negative thing to say about this sport. And when have we ever known me to not be negative? <laughs> Good sports do exist, and I'm so happy that I was able to look into cowboy mounted shooting because I would say that as long as you're an ethical rider and you ride with good balance and good tack and you use earplugs because that is probably one of the uh, biggest things and even the top riders in the sport talk about how important earplugs are for your horses, then I think this sport could be really fun and really ethical for both you and your horse. Definitely you guys, comment down below what other sports you guys want me to look into and react to. I'm so open to doing this. This series is gonna be so much fun, but I love you so, so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.